obviously to start 2024 news has been a little slow coming from the big nintendo sure there's been a few things we have reports and rumors out there about xbox possibly if not going third party at least bringing a lot of their games to nintendo switch switch to playstation 5 etc right there's stuff up there about sea of thieves or stuff out there about what is it hi-fi rush and probably more i think the microsoft ceo actually just went on record to say this jacob asks about the health and future of xbox satya could you give an update on our gaming business yeah we, obviously we're very very excited about uh, everything that's going on in gaming especially uh with uh, the close of activision yeah. blizzard um, and King, we, we, we think that now we have the ability to really do what we've always set out to do, which is build great games and deliver them to folks across all platforms, right? So that's the thing that's happening. Also, hey, Ace Combat 7 got announced today that it's getting a, you know, combo pack with all the DLC coming to Nintendo Switch this summer, I believe July 11th. And you know what? That's really cool. I don't think it's like the most exciting news out there, but if you're really into the Ace Combat series, that's really good news and good on you, Bandai Namco. It better late than never, I guess is what they say. But what we really want to know about is what are the newer big games that are coming? And yeah, Princess Peach Showtime, probably the biggest one on deck. Thousand Year Door, especially if there's new content. I guess we'll probably find out at the next Nintendo Direct. But what really we want to know is news on new stuff. What about new stuff such as Metroid Prime 4? That's right, you guys saw the title. You know we're talking about Metroid Prime 4 today. Well, thanks to some research done by Super Metal Dave and echoed out there by Andres Restart, we now have some details. And again, I'll put links to both Super Metal Dave's video and Andres Restart's video and all of the sources we're using in today's video down in the description. You can check this out for yourself. We now have firm belief that Metroid Prime 4 not only is going to be unveiled at some point this year, like relatively soon, possibly the next Nintendo Direct, but that the game is practically finished and yes, should release this year. I am really excited about this. In fact, I'm gonna put a prediction that it's coming out this summer and you'll see why in a moment. First, let's go to our very first source we have on this. And this is a guy over on LinkedIn, a particular user called Edwin Atwell. Edwin Atwell has a profile here that says endlessly curious video game developer. And he recently updated to include Retro Studios on his profile. And when you go down here, you'll see what he included was being a product tester at Retro Studios. So this would be somebody that's QAing and helping them figure out the issues with a currently developed game so they could polish it, right? Product testing, QA testing, this is all part of the polish stages of game development. You find bugs, you find issues, and the developers go ahead and clean all of that up. You can see he previously worked at Activision as a QA functional tester from March of 22 to March of 23. And then you also say he worked as just a QA tester in general at Activision from June 2021 through November of 2021, which that was a Call of Duty game. So he has worked on Call of Duty games, multiplayer games. This has people speculating that there could be a multiplayer mode. Well, in the next Metroid game, which wouldn't really be too shocking. There was a multiplayer mode in Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, so it wouldn't be shocking to see a multiplayer mode actually be implemented in Metroid Prime 4. Some people, in fact, even expect it, but you know, it, it's quite interesting just to think about on the surface. Now, there's another thing going on, however, that lets us know that, hey, this thing is going to be unveiled fairly soon. What do we mean by fairly soon? Well, because what if I were to tell you that Retro Studios has partnered with a company to make a reveal trailer? That's right, companies that work on reveal and launch trailers for major AAA games. Retro Studios is working with one right now. Who are we talking about? Well, if you come over here, you'll see this Next Gen Dreams website. I have some things blocked here. That's why it's not loading. Anyways, you go down and you see their clients. Next Gen Dreams factually works on trailers for companies. And you'll see they work with like Take-Two Interactive, THQ Nordic, Xbox Game Studios. 
But you'll see there's no Nintendo here. There's no Retro Studios logo. This is the website as it is today. Well, that's because after Super Metal Day's video, they deleted the Retro Studios logo. So you had to go over here to the Wayback Machine, and you can see what the website looked like just a little bit ago. And there is the Retro Studios logo logo. Now it's easy to sit there and say, well, there's multiple reasons that logo could be missing at this juncture, right? Multiple reasons. One, maybe they were hired by Retro Studios, but then they no longer work for them, right? So, you know, Nintendo and others got a hold of them and said, hey, get rid of that logo. We aren't working with you anymore. There's no trailer being made, at least by them. Or Nintendo gets a hold of them and says, hey, you know what? A trailer is now being like talked about. It's possibly coming really soon. That information isn't supposed to be out there. Can you please remove the logo at least until the trailer is revealed publicly? Those are a couple options, but how do we know that, well, you know what, it's probably the latter option where Nintendo just wanted them to remove the logo so they don't, you know, accidentally leak that a trailer is coming in the next Nintendo Direct. That is because of this right here. This guy, Bryce Cesandro, I don't know, I can't pronounce his name. He is actually the person who runs. He runs Next Gen dreams he runs them and if you scroll down you'll notice under current jobs retro studios that's right if you go to his own work profile of the ceo of that trailer making company retro studios is there folks it looks like Metroid Prime 4 has not only been in QA and testing since March of 2023, which is always the polishing stages of development. So it's been in polishing for almost a year. It's been almost a year they've been polishing this game. Similar situation happened with Tears of the Kingdom. March of 2022, we were told by A.G. Aonuma that Tears of the Kingdom entered polishing stages in March of 2022, that it was essentially content complete. Now, we don't know that the game was content complete in March of 2023, but they had enough out there that they wanted to start QA testing and polishing the game. So that is a thing that's been going on for quite some time. Now we have evidence of them working with a company that makes game trailers. <sighs> Guys, you kind of see where I'm going here. Metroid Prime 4 at the Nintendo Direct in February. Look, this isn't a confirmation. This isn't an announcement by Nintendo. There's just a couple things we know. One, the game has to be basically done at this point, right? It has to virtually be complete and ready to go. That's just based on QA testing, all right? We know that. We have proof of that now. And we have proof they're working with a company that makes game trailers. Why would you need to work with a company who makes game trailers if you're not going to be dropping a game trailer? So, yes, folks, I would say look to that next Nintendo Direct as either kicking off with or ending with a Metroid Prime 4 trailer, folks. And I do think, because of where the game is in development, it is going to release this year, and I feel like it's going to drop this summer. Now, you might go, why this summer? Why not this holiday? It could be a holiday game, to be clear. But I also feel the Nintendo Switch 2 is launching this summer, and the timing could line up a little bit with Switch 2, but the game's still going to be on Switch. It could also launch on Switch first and come to Switch 2 later. It could end up launching on both at the same time at launch of the system or a few months after, etc., etc., etc. The point is, yes, I think Metroid Prime 4, based on this current evidence, is being revealed at this Nintendo Direct and dropped this summer. We'll see what happens, of course, because in the end, it's not like any of us actually know what's going on. All we could do is make our best educated guesses. So what do you think about this information? Maybe the coolest quote unquote news we have so far, because this is like actual information that has speculation built on top. So don't take this whole Metro Prime 4 will be at the next direct. Again, that is my prediction. Don't take that Metro Prime 4 is going to come out this summer. That's not really the news. That's just predictions and speculation. The news is the QA development being confirmed for at almost a year, and then obviously the confirmation they are working with the company to get a trailer made. That's all we know. That is the big news. The rest is speculation on when this stuff is going to drop. Thank you so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Revel Jantz from Nintendo Prime, and be sure to check us out tonight on the Nintendo Prime podcast at 8 p.m. Central, where we're obviously going to talk about this stuff. 
uh, and more. You know, somehow we keep coming up with really, really cool things to talk about. Special guest, some bro nations coming on. So that should just be a very good show. (laughs) 